People in the Midwest and South are surveying the damage from a series of deadly storms. Officials in Ohio say the severe weather, including some tornadoes, killed at least three people. The storms knocked out power for tens of thousands of people. One Indiana family survived a direct hit on their home. I knew it was coming this way, so we, we just ran to the middle of the house into the utility room, and about 30 seconds later, the, it hit, and you see the damage. Troy Anderson joins, joins us now on the phone to discuss recovery efforts. He is director of Homeland Security security and emergency management in Auglaes County, Ohio. Troy, thanks very much for being with us. We saw those images. Tell us which areas have been hit the hardest. Um, the area starting from our western side of our county, the area of St. Mary's, the city of St. Mary's, um, and then as it moves to the east, uh, it, it actually almost followed the same path as the April 1st tornadoes that we had last year. Um, it actually went on the southern section of the city of Wapakoneta, which is our county seat, mm -hmm. and then into a, um, a residential camp, campgrounds uh, in the St. John's Freiburg area before exiting and going into Logan County where they've had uh, uh, a lot of destruction over there. Yeah, the storms we know mm -hmm. knocked out power for thousands last night. What is the situation like right now? We're starting to come up uh, pretty good on our power. We originally was uh, looking like we were tracking about 6,000 outages. We're now currently, as it stands, up to 49. Uh, the power crews have been working overnight, uh, getting power restored, roads open, and uh, we're starting to stabilize. Starting to stabilize. I wonder what you think the recovery efforts will look like in the coming days. Uh, it's going to take a while to do the recovery. We're, you know, we're actually working... Uh, with my volunteers and, uh, and uh, government officials, we're working to try to get those that are displaced. Uh, right now, we've put them in motels and uh, trying to help get them. They're, they're actually, uh, their needs, uh, medicine and clothing and food, we're doing that right now. Uh, and then working with our state partners to make sure that uh, we're tracking everything and, and trying to keep so nobody is left behind on that. And then we're doing our damage assessments to uh, determine if we're going to meet our requirements for uh, state disaster relief uh, at first. So I uh, met with several of our uh, state and uh, local uh, senators and representatives. Um, I did that right before this interview. And uh, we're being told our governor is coming in uh, this afternoon sometime. So we'll be uh, following up with him to see what... Uh, what they can do for us. All right. Well, our thoughts are certainly with you and the people there in Ohio. Troy Anderson, thank you very much. Thank you.